Hello, everybody. This is Brother Luke, the Sin City Preacher. Well, I guess the Internet is a wonderful place to place an ad. So I want to advertise. Uh, I'm looking for uh, a new Bible teacher. Uh, so the, these are the, the requirements that I need for this Bible teacher. Um, it, do you understand every single verse in the Bible perfectly. Okay. Make sure you, th that is your qualification, uh, if you want this position. Um, also, every theological question, every theological subject, uh, are, are you certain that you have the true answer? You understand that every subject and you have the correct answer on all questions of Christian theology. <clears throat> so if, if you meet these qualifications, if you can boast, I mean, if you can claim that you understand every single verse of the Bible and it, it, your position on every theological subject is at, with absolute certainty is the correct position, <clears throat> then uh, please submit your, your resume. <laughs> I, I hope my attempt at teaching with the use of humor is getting through. Normally, every attempt of humor by me is uh, fails. I only amuse myself. But the lesson to be learned from this is that I've encountered a lot of people uh, over these many years of being a Christian, and particularly uh, these last 10 years with my YouTube channel, Sin City Preacher, a Christian ministry on YouTube. Um, I've encountered a lot of people that it seems to me that that is exactly how they perceive themselves. They seem to think that they understand everything perfectly and they've got every, all their answers are guaranteed to be the right answer. Um, if a person actually believes that, then I think their egotism and arrogance is just like shot right off the, off the charts. It's supreme arrogance to think that you understand everything in the Bible perfectly. But uh, th that is why uh, I have the position that on the, the core doctrines of Christianity, what I could, could call the es essentials, that, okay, we must agree on these basic doctrines. Jesus is eternal God Almighty. Um, he's God manifest in the flesh. He's not a created being, a creature like us. He's eternal. He is the creator of all things. So it, it, it's essential that we understand and agree to that. And really, it's quite easy to learn from the Bible, which so clearly stated. Uh, it is also essential that we learn and understand and agree that salvation is not something to be earned through by being religious or doing any kind of religious works. We don't get salvation and eternal life as a reward for good behavior. Uh, we, we receive eternal life and salvation as a free gift from Jesus. Anybody can receive the gift. You just have to believe that Jesus is the only way to get the gift, to believe he's the only source of eternal life. And he can do it because uh, he's God, manifest in the flesh. He became a man and so he could die for our sins. He paid for all of our sins on the cross uh, so that uh, man and God have peace together, we're reconciled. So sin is no longer a barrier preventing man from having a relationship with God. Jesus paved the way. He paid for all of our sins. And then to prove that his claims of deity, his claims that he's a, the promised savior, uh, the, the proof that that's all true, 
He said, I'll prove it. I'll raise myself from the dead as a sign. So if a person um, uh, knows those things, understands those things, agrees to those things, that those, these things are true, then this is e essential to get that right. And it's also essential to know that uh, God uh, does not take back his gift. He says that we receive the gift of eternal life, the gift of salvation, the gift of the Holy Spirit, the gift of righteousness, the gift of grace. These are the gifts that we receive at the moment we put our faith in Jesus uh, as our Savior. And uh, it says that the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. It's irrevocable by God or by us. So uh, the eternal security of, of the believer is essential. Uh, it, we, it's essential in respect that you must understand it. You must uh, agree to it. And there is no compromise. So uh, these things are what we, we must uh, be very strict on these doctrines. Um, however, and it's not that hard to, to get that from the Bible. There's only, let's say, a, a hundred verses we could find that shows the deity of Christ. Another hundred verses show that we're saved by uh, faith alone in Christ alone. And another hundred verses that we could prove uh, the eternal security of the believer. It's so clearly stated over and over again that these are the, uh, the doctrines that we need to understand and agree to. But you don't have to understand. You don't have to be correct about every other verse in the Bible. I'll, I admit it. I confess I do not understand every verse in the Bible. And there are theological subjects that, of which I may not be familiar or I'm a, just a little familiar and maybe I don't even have a position on it. There's other subjects where uh, I've said it, I know a lot about it, but I don't have a strong conviction of which is the right viewpoint. And then there's other subjects where I've studied a lot and I'm really quite convinced that I'm correct. But at the same time, not so confident that I'm infallible that I have to in, uh, in, enforce or force my position on you. I'm not going to require that you agree with me on every theological question. I'm not going to require that you agree with me on the interpretation of every verse of the Bible. Because I'm not arrogant, egotistical thinking that I, I must be, I'm omniscient. I just understand it all perfectly. But if you're somebody who does understand every verse of the Bible perfectly, if you're someone who is convinced that you are absolutely right on every theological subject, then please <clears throat> put a comment <clears throat> here in this video uh, so that we can consider <clears throat> you to be our Bible teacher. I look forward to all your thoughts on this. Uh, bless you all in the name of our great Savior God. Jesus.